All right, welcome to another day of learning R. Uh, it is your wonderful host, Tuscan, and let's get these shenanigans going. Uh, close out for now. All right, so I want to do an introduction to plotting and I want to do it in R because that's the only language I really know how to plot things in. Aside from MATLAB, that's not what this is about this week. So, uh, <clears throat> okay, how, how do I do this? So, for plotting things in R, um, at least for now, uh, we're going to use this thing called RStudio. Uh, and this is not like a promo or anything. This is just coincidence that I'm on this site. But uh, we want to use this RStudio desktop thing. Uh, <coughs> so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of like how to install RStudio so we can do some basic plotting. Um, and the reason I'm using RStudio is... Uh, one, just to get familiar with using an IDE, uh, and two, there's a couple of data sets that are in our studio that I don't have to, like, go hunt down and find, so that's the reason. So, uh, if you go to this link, uh, which I will share in the chat, Uh, the, oh, I need the music text. That would be helpful. Don't want to take any music. Uh, so, uh, this is where you would download our studio. Um, it's just the fancy button. Uh, they've got a bunch of different... Like, if you use Mac or any of these other things. Sus? Do I see sus? Anyway, uh, you figure out your operating system and pick the thing that best applies. Uh, I have Windows, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to save the file, uh, and I've got the little download button there. And that's going to take a moment, so, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have uninstalled this to, like, walk through this. Well, in the meantime, it's going to show up in, eventually, in your downloads folder. Uh, if you're using Chrome, it'll, like, show up in the bar at the bottom. Um, if you're using Microsoft Edge, why? Yay, it's done. So, let's open it. Basically, just run through the shenanigans to let it install and do its thing. <laughs> Maybe I could just play Tetris while I'm waiting for this. <laughs> I did not think this through very well, but that's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Man, I can't even go and, like, look at any files that I have, because it's like... I still have to wait for for things to load. It's probably going to panic because I'm like still installing it as I'm doing the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess that worked. So I'm pretty sh It's been like a couple of months since I've like installed our studio for the first time, but if I recall correctly, this is pretty much all you have to do. Um, if it doesn't work, you may have to install like R for, well, for whatever operating system you're using. Um, it might get a little nitpicky because of that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now that that's done, look at how fancy that is. 
Alright, so for plotting, uh, and I'm gonna put in the date. Uh, <coughs> so if you remember from earlier streams, um, I mentioned that in our studio, it uh, this is the command that it likes. Uh, this will clear any variables that you store in your global environment. Um, I think if you do that, it'll probably be okay, but I was told to use this thing, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, we also want to set the working directory. Um, and the, like, easy way to do it is to run through, uh, the files. Uh, there's the, like, fancy way to do it, and, like, the cool kid, uh, reverse engineering way to do it, because I can't use the H word on Twitch, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which, um, you can you can run this ah yeah let me type something in the console so you can see it with no issue at all let me just move this up here for now uh yeah yeah i'm just going to put it up here so uh so this command get wd will tell you where you're at. Uh, <coughs> I've already set this up, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna restart our studio to get uh, the thing that I'm supposed to get. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So every time you open our studio, if you don't save your data, it'll. Uh, it'll default to like the topmost folder or directory in like on your computer. Um, so if I do get working directory again, now I'm in users owner documents. So uh, this is the easy way to do it. We're gonna do the fancy way to do it. Uh, so the terminal is a little scary, but it's not that bad. Um, so in R Studio, the things this terminal recognizes. I think the reason it recognizes it is because I'm like I have uh, Git Bash installed on my computer. So like this is basically the same format as Git Bash. So if I do CD. Uh, it'll tell me where I'm at. This is the part where I'm like really shaky. That's a proper terminal. If you're using that, you're already programming via terminal. Well, listen, listen here, reverse engineering man. Uh, <laughs> don't be confused. I like. I only know like three commands in like a terminal like this, and one of them is CD. <laughs> Um, so, in addition to CD, if you do, um, well, like, the way I was kind of taught how to do it was, like, CD means change directory. CD and whatever the run command for R is the right thing. Ha. Ha. That's all I say to you is ha. Um. How do I want to do this? First of all, I want to figure out what is in the folder I'm currently in. So I'm using this ls command, which is quite literally just list. It like lists out all the things that are here, and this is like really obnoxious and difficult to look at. Um, I, th I would say for most of the time, I would imagine that people are storing their things either in desktop or documents. So uh, to use the CD command, 
if you do CD space, and I know I want to go to desktop, and then press enter, it'll take me there. Uh, oops. Okay, apparently that's not how that works. Um, so if I list out where I'm at, uh, all, well, most of these are folders. Um, so I want to go into, uh, LCR code. So if I'm too lazy to type things out, I can just press tab and it'll do it for me. So, is a, oh, haha. <laughs> So this code, this thing is saying that uh, LCR code is a folder or a directory. So I have to uh, change, I have to say CD first and then add it in. So if I do that, then it'll take me there. And then I can see the things that I've worked in. I'm sure you can probably hear my dog right now, but my dog is, um, wanting attention. Ah! I forgot that copy shortcut doesn't work here. So, once you figure out where you want to be, uh, then you just copy the, um, the file path, and then in quotation marks, paste it up above. So if I run that, uh, cannot change working directory. Well, too bad. I think I have to have it similar to how this is set up. So, uh, there we go. So that's how it that's how it is. So set working directory will just say if you save anything, it will save it to that location. Uh, so if I type in get wd again, now it's changed from what it was before. So that's all that does. Um, trying to think like what what data set would be neat to, uh, to go check out. Um, let's not watch my own stream. That would be obnoxious. Um, all right. So I know that, uh, so like a couple of the data sets that are in here are, um, Iris, Faithful, and I think it's called MT Cars. Uh, so let's do the Iris data set because that one is uh, is relatively simple. So if we do um, head Iris and run that, it'll tell me uh, like it'll give me a preview of what the data set called Iris has. <coughs> so, uh, so in the data, like in the table of the data set Iris, it has different measurements for sepals and petals, and then it also organizes it by species. So, uh, so getting, after getting a sample of of the iris data set. That's not how you spell iris. Uh, I want to import the data. And this is... So if I do that, I get a, a value in here. Um, oh, okay. That's a lot of data. Uh, oh, that's what that did. Anyway, okay. So this is, I don't remember what 
like how uh, promise was described, but it's it's basically like it brought in <laughs> uh like it brought in the data set. You just have to tell our studio what to do with it. So uh, I want to make it into a. Do I want to make it as a table? I could just. Could I just make it as a data frame? I'm just gonna try that. Oh, did I break it? There we go. I'm gonna try this and see what it does. I think I have to add quotes to this. Nope, it's just literally storing something called Iris. So, uh, uh, I'm just gonna do it how this assignment was done because that's just how it's gonna be. So, um, Doge is, Doge is quite lonely. She's like, where's my person? So, uh, line nine is, uh, like, a tibble is a, it's like a form of a data frame. Um, everyone I've talked to doesn't like it, um, but this isn't their stream, it's my stream, so I'm gonna do it anyways. But if I run it, it's like, whoa, what does this mean? So I have to add in a library. Um, I think I actually forgot that I need to upon installation I have to install like a bunch of libraries but library tidyverse so tidyverse is a library that or like a package that will deal with this I have broken our studio um oops Have I broken it? Oh, I have to like go and select, like manually select things here. Um, deal with it. Uh, I think I've broken our studio. We should be able to do this in base R. We shouldn't need. Uh, we shouldn't need this. I'll figure it out for next week. Oh, is it? It has to be install library. Um, I shouldn't have to put single quotes, but we can try it anyways. Probably help if I spelled install correctly. What do you mean could not find install? You. <sighs> it. Our studio is being stubborn. That's just how it is. It's being stubborn. Um. Yeah, it's. Um. It's now saying that this install.package might be plural. Yeah, it is plural. Oh, I think it worked now. That's obnoxious. It shouldn't... 
Oh, okay. Oh, it did work. Yay. So, the way to do it is install.packages and then uh, you have to put the name of the package. Stop moving. Um, in, you have to put the name of the library in quotes. Um, it's going to complain to you about some stuff, but that's fine. It, it's... It's fine. Everything's fine. So let's try that. You don't like that. This should not have to be in quotes. I will tell you that much. Um, it's... It's like a first installation thing. It's being... It's being silly. So... We'll just we'll just try it the the basic way. Let's say this one's good. Yeah. Um. Let's use iris and plot with base r. So. <coughs> uh. So what I did here was. I just assigned the data frame called iris to a variable name called iris. So if I click on this and open it up, it will give me a table with all of the things in here. Uh, so now if I make this a little bit bigger. So if I do this, it will basically plot all variables against each other or like it'll it'll basically like cycle through and make a bunch of plots so if I do that I get this mess Wow it it's things look at that we've made a plot so the um, So the way this is set up is like the variable names are in the middle and then the numerical values are along the sides. So then if you go to some thing like petal width and sepal width, um, it's basically just finding an X and a Y and looking at that plot. Um, that's all right. We can... We can manip manipulate things now with the data set. So, uh, okay. So we're gonna, so I think what I'm gonna try is uh, yes. It's fine. Everything's fine. I, I know how things work. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the, like, that everything is updated the way it should be. Um, oh, you can't see the thing, but in the middle of the screen, uh, it's updating, uh, it's like showing a bunch of download windows. So... This will take a hot second. Oh, and there it goes. So it's just gonna do all this. So if you, I guess if you wanted to do a basic plot, uh, you can do this. Um, can I ask for, yeah, so I can do basic things. So x equals, let's say, hello, uh, let's do sepal length and sepal width. So I'm going to put length on the x-axis and then width on the y-axis. Um, it is going to take a moment for it to actually 
do what I want it to because it's like checking packages and things. Um, yeah. There's a couple that it's inevitably just gonna have issues with. Um, well, this is fun. It'd be nice if I could do like multiple things at once. I certainly did not plan. Oh, hello, Rapture. Yay. Hi. Uh, I didn't notice you there. <laughs> Uh, I, okay, not gonna lie, I actually missed your message because on my screen, you have the same name color as Prox does. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I... Uh, so if I do that, okay, it doesn't like that. Why does it not like that? Do I have to do that? Is that how it's gonna... No. Uh... There we go. That's gross. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, so what it's doing here... Have you finished that part? Yeah! Awesome! Congrats! Congrats on affiliate, that's great. Uh, so if you want to do a plot that is not as gross and obnoxious as this, uh, you would just have to define your X and Y axes. Um, so... In base R, the way to do it is, or a way to do it, uh, is to um, type in the, the name of the table and then the column you want, or er, separated by a dollar sign. So in this context, the dollar sign is saying, in this table, look at this column, um, and then same for that. So. Will you let me... Will you let me do this now? Do it. Do what I ask. Yay! Now it worked. Okay. That was obnoxious. So this is what it's supposed to look like when you uh, install Tidyverse. Oh yay! Thank you for hosting. That's great. I am pleased. Uh, so, to like run through what what all of this chaos is, um, these are like a bunch of things that Tidyverse has to look in, I think. Um, so the conflicts here, they're not actually as concerning as they seem. Uh, so it's just saying that, uh, these commands are found in other packages, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, so like you can still use filter and lag and it'll still do what you ask. Uh, but now, now that we have tidyverse, we can do fancy things and... Do it. No package called ggplot. Okay. Um, I... Fine. Do that then. I'm pretty sure there is, but it's being stubborn, so we're just gonna ignore it for now. What's the worst that could happen, right? Um, okay. So, if we want to do some more, like, some fancier plotting, um, this is where, like, I know how to do plotting, so we're just gonna go with it. Um, in this command called ggplot, 
it asks for data, aesthetics, uh, and other. So, <clears throat> what we want to do, data equals iris, uh, mapping equals AES. This is, this aesthetics thing is like the complex version of this. Um, so we can do X equals length, Y equals sepal width. Um, let's say color equals species. If I plot that, that should work. Do it. Well, it made a thing. It made the plot. Funny enough, it did exactly what I asked it to do. Uh, this is a start, so uh, this is a good way to confirm that things are set up how you want it to. So now, what you need is to add in your, like, actually add in your data. Um, and you want to add it in how, um, or like, how do I describe that? Add it in by type. So, <coughs> if you want, like, points on a, on a plot, you do, um, well, the, the main starting thing is geom underscore, and then as you can see, there's a bunch of different things you can do. So for plotting points, or like scatter plots, you would use geom point. And since all of our data and aesthetics are up there, I think you can just leave it as is. So if we plot it, yay, it did the thing. Look at that, that's fancy. Now, I wonder if I do, uh, I want to try this and see what it does. So I just added in, okay. So with color, so with like basic plotting, I think this is about all you can do. Um, let's check it out. So by doing question mark plot, uh, it'll open the help pages and there are 12 warnings. Okay. Um, let's see what it lets us do in basic R. That was not what I wanted to select. I want generic XY plotting. So I want to see what arguments a uh, plot will let us put in. Ah yes, that tells me everything. Um, so it looks like I can do type equals P. Uh, let's see. I can put labels. Uh, are you not able to specify? Okay, well. If I run that, object P not found. But that is what you have. Oh, you have to put quotes around it. Okay, um, so if I do L instead of P, it should give me lines. <laughs> oh wow, that is beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna make this bigger just to so we can appreciate how chaotic that is. <clears throat> Is this, is this my new, like, stream logo? Is that how this works? I'm just gonna generate, like, garbage like this? Oh, uh, that's, that's gorgeous. Okay, so... To, to go back to a fancier plot, 
Uh, I can organize things by color. <laughs> Dr. Tobiro with a crayon. <laughs> okay, for real though, like, I'm definitely gonna sound old here, but when I was younger and there was like no internet, like going into paint and just drawing a bunch of lines and then just filling in all of the little spaces, that's like a childhood favorite. Like, for real now. Um, yeah, okay. So we made a plot. Never a Windows kid. Well, I, okay. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, I don't really know where to go from here, so, uh, I think I'm just gonna end it there, end early, and get some food. I do stuff like this every Friday at 12, um, 12 Pacific, and then there's, uh, other shenanigans on Mondays and Thursdays with more people, so, if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Oh. Uh...